Well, coming up in today's edition of The Play, what you're going to see in tomorrow's Oklahoma changes coming to workers' compensation law and a look at the Thunder Rocket playoff series. But first, Oklahoma senators are criticizing the Federal Aviation Administration for furloughing air traffic controllers trained in Oklahoma City. And here with more on these stories and other headlines you will see in Thursday's Oklahoma is Assistant Local Editor Nick Trugakos. Thank you so much for joining me. Sure. Well, Nick, what are senators saying about the FAA? Well, there was a hearing in D.C. today uh, that had to do with the FAA furloughs. They have been causing problems with delays and air travel, and uh, senators are, are getting pretty mad about it. And so they uh, were meeting in D.C., and our Oklahoma senators were bringing up ideas like, you know, instead of furloughing the people who are essential to air safety, Let's look at what the FAA has in terms of, you know, non-essential personnel, support staff, administrative staff, and stuff like that. And why can't we furlough those people who aren't going to cause, you know, delays? Now, the FAA responded to say that a lot of people that, that we have on staff, they are related to other things that involve, you know, air travel safety. And so it's not an easy fix. But our Oklahoma senators are not happy. Obviously, it affects uh, the FAA center that we have here in the state. And so they're sounding off about that, and we'll we'll get more in depth on that in the paper. Okay, all right. Well, the Oklahoma State House is working on a bill that would overhaul the workers' compensation system. And what kind of changes are being discussed? And do you think the measure will be approved? Well, at the heart of it, this is a, this is a bill that has been a priority for the governor to get through the uh, the legislature. It would change the workers' compensation system that we have in Oklahoma from a judicial system to an administrative system. They think that will be a more business-friendly setup in the state. Uh, it was being debated in the House today, and the expectation was that it would pass through the House easily and go on to the Senate. Uh, we've reported this week that the House leader, Senate leader, and the governor have all agreed on a, on a concept for reform in this topic. So it looks like it's probably going to happen, and we break down some of the details uh, with our Capitol Bureau. Okay, yeah, that'll be interesting. Now, the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled on a case from Deer Creek School District at issue whether a student's rights were violated when the child was restrained in a timeout room. All right, Nick, what did the judges decide? Well, this is the uh, the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals took up this case, and they actually voted three nothing to go against the parents who had filed a lawsuit saying that their son's uh, constitutional rights had been violated when he was placed in a timeout room. Now this was a disabled student who was prone to acting out in class and uh, the defendants, the school district, uh, felt like they had handled the situation properly and the appeals court seems to have kind of sided with them. Now where it goes from here, the family could decide to maybe even try to pursue it up the ladder to the Supreme Court, but you never know, they may, they may stop here. But we're, we'll get into the details of what the court ruled in the paper tomorrow. That's a tough subject. All right. All right. Well, now the second game of the Thunder Rockets tips off later tonight. What can we expect to see in terms of coverage in tomorrow's paper? Well, not, we'll have coverage not only in tomorrow's paper, uh, but you can look at News OK. You can look at our uh, Thunder blog. Uh, we'll have video, press conferences, player reactions. Everything. Everything you expect to see from uh, the Oklahoma and News OK. We're all over the thunder. Nice, nice. Of course, of course, and the playoffs are huge, so this will be exciting for sure. All right, well, make sure you check out all of these headlines and much more, obviously, in the Oklahoma and NewsOK.com. And Nick and his team will bring you all of these great stories. Thank you so much.